Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to part 2 of me trying to restore the anime room to its former glory. Um, so, I've gotten all of the figures out of the shelves and I've dusted them. Here you can see beside me the evidence of what I used to dust. I went through quite a few Q-tips, but it was very important, like, you can see the dirt that actually came out of the little grooves in there. Some of them probably hadn't been dusted for quite a while. Um, behind the camera on the table is all of the figures sitting there just from the shelf. There's more in the anime room that I'm going to get to um, in this video. And once I've dusted all of them, I'm going to get in, find the respective boxes and put them all back into their boxes. Now, these three sitting here, um, they are from video game collector's editions and I bought them loose on eBay years ago. Um, so they don't have boxes, so they're just going to go back into the shelf. But you can see in the shelf the outlines of where the figures sat. There was quite a bit of dust, even over as little as a month or two um, building up. So they very much needed a dust. I'm going to dust the shelf and probably go through and lightly dust a few of the DVDs and games. And so that's all going to happen today in this video. Also over in the corner over there, which I'll take you over there now. So as you can see here in front of these boxes, I have a very large stack of pop vinyls. These are all of the pops from outside the anime room and I'm hoping to find room for them inside the anime room once I clear everything up in there. These aren't all of my pops, there are some still in the anime room which I have to... I think the best thing to do would be to go in there, pull everything out and then kind of restack it as best I can. And there's also... Um, one layer behind the camera there in that shelf uh, that I'll probably I'll be able to fit 10 pops there. I'll probably trade them for the eight amiibos there um, to make better uh, use of the space. So I might do that first and then after that I'm going to give you guys the first look in quite a while at the anime room. <laughs> and yeah <laughs> it is a mess in there so Let's quickly chuck some of these pops in that shelf first. So I apologize for the bad lighting here. It's in the corner next to the window, but um, this shelf is uh, two, two deep or three deep maybe of pop vinyls and 10 fit a layer. Down the bottom here I have the Amiibo, so I'm just gonna replace them now with 10 pops in this shelf then put the rest in the anime room. Okay, so pretty happy with that. I was able to fill up this shelf completely with pop vinyls. So I just thought I'd swap out two pops for the black and yellow ranger, keeping all of the Power Rangers together there. Um, just missing the blue and the green, which I do have, and I'll throw them in there at a later date. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm going to take you guys into the anime room for the first time in quite a while. Um, it is a mess in there, so warning. Um, I will warn you that I have been busy, nothing in there is organized. A lot of times I've just thrown things in. Um, so yeah, the basic plan for today is to get everything out, sort it out as best I can. As I said before, box up the figures, make more room, and then put as much of it back in. Um, even if I have to stack it, help the skelter up to the ceiling, try to get as much in as possible. So without further ado, let's have a look. Okay, so full transparency. Here you can see what I'm dealing with. It is just stacks and stacks and layers of boxes, um, figures, DVDs, plushies, bags thrown in there. I have my shirts hanging up there. There's the shelf at the back, which is really cluttered. And in at the very back, um, there's boxes of comic books. So it is a little bit embarrassing to have it like this, but it's gotten to the point now where I need to do something about it. Um, if I turn to the left here, here is all of these figures, um, the remaining figures that I have out of the box. And um, 
as I said earlier, all of these are going to be put back into their box today. Their boxes are up here. Um, some of them are already in their boxes, but the rest are going back in. So I'm going to have to clear the floor first, um, get into the top, find all of the boxes I need, put the figures back in. That will clear up this um, surface here, which I can stack stuff up to the top. And then here at the back, I'm going to push those shirts into the right and then as neatly as I can stack everything up. As I said, there are still some pops in here. So yes, that's pretty full on. I know it looks like I have no room to move in here. And while that may be true now, I guarantee, or at least I'm hoping, that I can fit things in a better manner, um, make more room and yeah, just have it better. And it deserves to be better, so what do you say we get started with moving everything out and then assessing it from there. Let's do it! So as much as I would like to, I probably can't film um, in the room there. So I'm going to have to try to lay everything out on the bed, just get an idea of what I have. Um, so I'm going to speed this up and show you guys what I end up with. Okay, so we're about halfway through now and I'm just giving you guys a quick pan around the room so you can see the um, amount of stuff that came out of the anime room and yeah, stuff that I hadn't seen for a while and yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm doing this. I think it's a massive wake-up call for myself. Um, hopefully it's not too shocking for you guys to see. Uh, but yeah, I, I've just kind of been putting it off like stacking stuff in there and I need to see it all laid out like this. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's both like I am incredibly proud of how the collection has grown in such a short amount of time. Um, but it also is a bit much, <laughs> uh, just for this little house. If I had a bigger room, it wouldn't be a problem. Um, but the last thing I want to be is called a hoarder or something like that and that is the state it's getting to and how it looks at the moment. I've tried to organize it the best I can on the bed. Bottom left corner's plushies, bottom right corner's figures, top right corner is DVDs and top left corner is miscellaneous things like show bags, bags and convention stuff. But you guys can now see that I've taken off at least probably half of the stuff out here um, I'm into the layer of pops that were sitting there, so yes, there is still a few to come out. Um, there is a box of Japanese video games there. There's some cards, some more DVDs, some posters and boxes, and um, at the back there, you probably can't see, there is the comic books under the clothes. I can get in better. There is the comics at the back. You can see I have some more DVDs down there, a few more pops. I've cleared the figures out of this shelf. The DVDs need rearranging, as you can see, because I've rummaged through them. And in behind the door here is another little surprise. Just stacks of more figures there. So just hidden away. And literally, if I, if I want to, I'll stack them to the roof just so I can get more room out of it. 
Whew. So yeah, as I was saying, um, I think this is the best thing I could have done with my long weekend off here. I'm going to take the rest of the pops out, finish with the pops. Um, I don't know if it'll happen this video, but after that, probably the final thing I'll do in this video is get all of the boxes down uh, from the figures on the table, box them up, and then move on to these figures, probably in the next video. Yeah, so it's a process, um, but I'm getting there. And yeah, I just want to give my collection more respect. And Nicole as well, I think it's been pretty hard on her, like having stuff overflowing out of it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm a little bit embarrassed, honestly, but... Uh, you know, I'm trying to be completely honest and transparent about what has been going on. So, I'll keep working on it. Let's have another crack. <laughs> Let's have another crack. Who the fuck says that? Okay, here I am standing with the final pops behind me out of that room. I'm going to sit down in a second and go through to make sure they're all in my um, database on Pop Price Guide. But, to give you guys an update, I can officially see the floor again. <laughs> so, here you can see I have gotten all of the pops, all of the DVDs out, and yes, there is carpet. We can actually walk in here and stand. So, um, the final thing I'm going to do is bring in a chair, get up there, get the boxes out, and um, box all of the ones on the table. And that's all I'm going to have time for today. And stay tuned for part three, because I'm actually psyched up now, um, because I will rejuvenate this room and make it look good and be proud of it once more. So stay tuned for that, guys. I'm excited to see the final product and unveil it to you. There is still quite a work. There is still quite a bit of work that needs to go into it. Um, it's not, it might even be a fourth part, I have no idea. But this is a process I'm going to tackle and I'm not putting it off anymore. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll finish this video. Until next time.